What's up, college football fans? Don't forget to check out and order your copy of Stiff Arming Football Myths, our latest football game plan book. So go on our website at footballgameplan.com slash books and get your copy. We have these available in paperback as well as in PDF form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our preview of the 2014 inaugural Raycom Media Camellia Bowl between the South Alabama Jaguars and the Bowling Green Falcons. Now let's take a look at some coaching points for both teams in this ball game, starting with South Alabama. For South Alabama in this ball game, they're going to need that multifaceted run game to be in full effect. And when I'm talking about multifaceted, I'm talking about whether or not it comes from the running back or their quarterback, Brandon Bridge. Bowling Green has problems stopping the run, giving up 5.1 yards a carry. They're going to have a lot of success on the ground, and it can come from either Bridge or their outstanding backfield. And a third down defense will have to be key. When you're facing a team that struggles defensively, you want to make sure you're getting off the field so that way you put the ball back in your hands of the offense. And if the offense is on the field more often than your defense, it bodes well for your chances. And they can't get out of position versus Bowling Green's tailback, Travis Green, because he can't find the cutback lane. He can find the seam, and he has the speed and the agility to take it the distance. And for Bowling Green, team defense equals winning defense. 11 guys must fly around to the football. You have to want to stop the run. It's about effort and want to. And if you have 11 guys flying to the football, you're going to be playing winning defense this week versus South Alabama. And the best matchup defensively I see in this ball game is with their outstanding cornerback Judah Jai Barima versus wide receiver Shavara Smith of South Alabama. Jai Barima has to win that matchup in order for the secondary to have success. That's the number one option of Brandon Bridge, the quarterback of South Alabama. You take away Smith and you force him to go to other options consistently. And it goes without say, Bowling Green has to be able to finish drives. When your defense is struggling, like the Falcons defense has been all season long, you as an offense want to make sure you finish drives with either three or seven. It's imperative that they put points on the board on a consistent basis versus South Alabama. The biggest X factor, in my opinion, for South Alabama will be the play of their secondary. They're going to get tested more often than not in this ball game. Bowling Green loves to wing it around the football field. They spread the field, and they force you to win individual matchups in the secondary. They're going to have to compete at a high level in order to come away victorious. And for Bowling Green, the biggest X factor, redshirt freshman quarterback James Napke, a guy that has to protect the football. It's more important this week versus South Alabama as it is any game you play. But again, when your defense is struggling, you don't want to beat yourself by turning turning the football over, which is why I believe Napke will play a huge role in whether or not Bowling Green is able to win this ball game. Now here are some pro prospects you want to watch out for in this ball game. And the two headliners coming into this matchup, quarterback Brandon Bridge, who a lot of guys are very high on the 6'4", 220. He has a great chance to showcase himself versus a very solid secondary in Bowling Green. And for the Falcons, Gabe Martin, outstanding linebacker with tremendous speed, athleticism, and has the instincts that you want at the position. And also keep an eye on his teammate, DJ Lynch, at 5'11". 244 pounds and when you look at the South Alabama Jags cornerback Montel Garner he has a great opportunity to showcase himself in this ball game as well because of the fact that Bowling Green will try to air it out more often than not. Hired in 2008 to build the football program from the ground up and only their sixth year of existence, third in the FBS, Coach Joey Jones has the Jags playing in their first bowl game, and in six seasons he has compiled a record of 37-27. Freddie Barnes was a tremendous wide receiver for the Bowling Green Falcons from 2006 to 2009. And as a senior, he was a consensus All-American and left Bowling Green with numerous records. He owns the NCAA single season reception record with 155 receptions in a year. The Bowling Green career record for receptions at 298. The single season touchdown record with 19. And still owns the single season MAC record with 770 yards in one season. In their first season of football, the 2009 South Alabama Jaguars went a perfect 7-0, playing mostly prep schools. The Jags held all opponents under 13 points, including two shutouts, outscoring them 321-41.
led by their quarterback Josh Harris, the 10-3 Bowling Green Falcons took on the Northwestern Wildcats in the 2003 Motor City Bowl. And what was a back-and-forth affair? Harris led the Falcons to a 28-24 victory, throwing for 386 yards, three touchdowns, and also adding one on the ground, winning MVP honors. I like Bowling Green in this ball game, and although their defense will give up their fair share of yardage and big plays against South Alabama, I do think Bowling Green has the offense that's well equipped for a shootout, and I think that'll happen in this ball game. Look for a lot of points being scored with Bowling Green coming away victorious in the inaugural Camellia Bowl.